Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. My name is Raben Schild. Um, I want today kind of go away from the containers for a moment or immediate containers basically. And I want to make the cargo skiff that is able to just hope or hopefully able to just lug them around so that I can store them somewhere else, move them into different places and maybe I can store that thing on the inside of the ship. Um, I want to do something first. Brian uh, Ferrugia, I hope I'm not butchering anything there, had a good idea that I want to kind of uh, take a look at and yeah, make changes. So he said, I should maybe put some glass in so we can see the the bar here, the meter, and see how much oxygen we still have. And that's a really, really good idea. Uh, also, Brian and Alessia kind of uh, teamed up and said, I should put some... Where's... Is there nothing on this side? That's dumb. Um, is that an error or is that... There seems to be that this is right. It, it looks like there is a space for it, but there is nothing. Good. We can just close that again. Well, we change our grab window, the one by one, one by one flat, and also half. So Brian and Alessia uh, agreed on the had an, agreed on an idea. Basically, um, it is that I should put projectors on uh, the containers to yeah, make them repairable. That's not a bad idea. I, I already commented on that and said that it's a really good idea, but I would like to do it in a way where I, um, instead of, uh, I need girders, instead of putting projectors on all the containers, I will put them on just some of them uh, because the the cargo containers and the, the the tank containers and all that stuff they they are really not meant to be repaired if they break they break uh, I just paint them pink build another one um, that's kind of the main thing I want to do with them because it's again they 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 should be cheap that's just cheap vessels to transport the stuff in uh, the same counts for the passenger thing the passengers thing is just ugh. if it breaks then uh, i will need uh, a new one and everything's fine so but for the speciality speciality containers like for example the bars container or the the drop con or not the drop container the 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 first start container i'm i'm building that right now here that will be the passenger container that i will modify to uh house some things uh to boost maybe for, for a first a, a <laughs> the first colony uh have the the first colony in and all that stuff so um, that these will definitely get projectors because I they are more expensive, need more things, and should be yeah better repaired than completely ground down. Um, I think that's that's how I will go with that. There was also the suggestion to to put some parachutes on here also a good idea but i have the dropship for that so i i don't really want to drop them from orbit and with the parachutes 
uh, and cargo containers. I <laughs> because I'm using uh, the the ten times uh, inventory. I I had a lot of problems with dropping cargo from space uh, with parachutes. I would need a lot of them. I'm pretty sure. So um, these are done. This will be changed to. There were more more ideas to make. Yeah, again, defense containers, uh, battery storage containers. That's a good idea. Battery storage. That that is a neat thing to bring down a battery instead of a reactor or something like that. Something I could load up here, and all these things. Um, I'm thinking about, and that's something I, I need to try, to have something like uh, a solar container. That, that would be a neat idea, something that I can bring down uh, and maybe flip out some, some solar panels or something like that. I'm not sure how I would do that, but we, I, I could make some tests if this is enough space to house some solar panels that I can maybe just flip out and then have have some things that produce energy for me but now i want to make this thing so we can lug around some uh, containers so first thing arm in the front that grabs the containers i want to make the arm in a way where i basically let's see if I can if I can do that where I come down and then have that thing here and the same here I want to be able to see the container from the cockpit so that I can see when I am able to lock it or uh, that stuff makes life a whole lot easier if I just <laughs> if I just have it that way. Now we should be able, if we look down a bit, see we can see the the merge block and don't have to guess and or maybe use the the <laughs> the the third person view or something like that. I will just put one uh, merge block on here because again this thing will come from the front just grab that thing um, fly away with it drop it somewhere else um, what I can't see and I'm I might do something about that is I can't see below the container that's maybe something uh, we want to change maybe put a few blocks down and then a camera or something so I can see uh, the the connector and uh, or maybe have a camera on the side so I can see the the red uh, the red markings on the ground something like that um, thrusters some back thrusters some uh, forward thrusters up top so they don't damage any containers um, I will go maybe with just iron thrusters. Um, I don't think I really need more here in space. I, I, this thing doesn't need to be fast and it doesn't need to go into atmosphere. I just want it to be able to transfer containers, don't know, from the ship to the station or something like that. Um, and maybe build it in a way where we can store it in here. And also have it be able to maybe put containers on the inside. Some at at least the specialty containers that they just that I can just put them on the inside here if I if I really need because this is more for cargo space or for for cargo transfer something like that. Good. Let me let me do some work on here and I will come back to you with. What I have done. I will have to think about the iron thrusters again because that's ridiculous. <laughs> I need a lot of iron thrusters uh, firing downwards to just lift off the container 
from the pad and uh, it, I just put a big one on the back because I thought maybe that's nicer. No, it's not. <laughs> it just sweets that thing up and then uh, slowing it down is, is a pain. Then And again, it, it, it needs that much. It is very, very slow with just the iron thrusters. I have to see if, if I change that or if I keep that now. Um, I've put another hinge on the back and a bit of a thing uh, that we will set up. Let us do that. Um, have that as view. Then the hinge as reverse and the hinge with the lock. So if we reverse it, then we can lock it down. And now we can see the container in all its glory and can see uh, the space a lot better where it needs to be placed. And then we can unlock it and fly away. Uh, if we don't need that, just pull it back. Lock it down again. So I also have... Uh, it is twitchy a bit, although it is at the moment just running on two gyros. I have put a bit of a boost in there and now it goes a lot more twitchy. Um, did that so that I, if everything is empty, I don't spin that thing out. And if a container is full, I maybe need the boost to move the whole thing and then... I want to be able to have some more, uh, some more gyros in here. I have a big azimuth reactor in here. Uh, should be changeable, but uh, I will, I will gladly take this. Okay, let's lock it down again. I, I, I want to lock it so that I don't know, don't misjudge the height and all that stuff, but. With all the thrusters, I'm kind of running into the problem that it, it looks bulkier than I wanted it to be. But good thing is, I still have space, so I fit in this cargo or in this uh, hangar door with the container. And I can store some of them in there. It, it's not a lot of space, and if I change the thrusters, then I might bring it down just a tiny bit so that I can fit even better. I tried out the the sci-fi thrusters. I'm not sure if they fit here. Um, the bottom is open. Uh, don't really need to close that. See the amount of downwards thrust, uh, downwards thrust that I need just to to be able to lift that off and, I, and I'm not sure if I'm able to do that uh, with uh, a cargo in there. At the moment that container is empty. I might have to fill that up at one point and then see if uh, if that is enough. So and the big one in the in the back I kind of wanted to have it stand out and now it is not. So maybe we just Move it forward just a bit. Um, I could maybe fit one, two in here. And then thrusters. I will take, gladly take this one. Turn that around. So at least that it sticks out a bit. So I need to set up the landing gears, G. Okay. Landing gear. Uh, skiff. Gear. And 
then I can just put that group here. Switch lock. Maybe auto lock on seven. Uh, I don't need the landing gear um, as long as it is attached to a container. So I just need it when I want to uh, bring that down, lock that down somewhere. So that's why that is higher up and I can fold this thing in. Uh, but it is just... It is just too crazy big on the top. I Again, I, I want that smaller. I kind of want that smaller. We could use, instead of the... If we, instead of the pulse thrusters, we could use the LY iron thrusters. They are a bit more po uh, powerful, but they are just iron thrusters. So uh, let us see how crazy these things are. Just for a test now. Come on, pick that up. Seven. I want to go with the uh, with the sloped ones. It kind of needs to be a bit more open or something like that. I don't want to have a box. I want it a bit more open, and maybe I re will replace some of these things with girders not with girders with uh yeah with these uh how are they called gantry blocks do i have okay let's oh no nothing destroyed oh yo that is that is a lot nicer so I'm pretty sure I have the same stopping power even more than I had with a, or than I have with a, with the three, <laughs> the three I had before. Um, and then I can replace some of the diagonals there and maybe integrate integrate some of the thrusters into the hull or into the the blocks I have around it that is a lot neater pretty sure they pull a lot of energy but uh, that's what I have the reactor for mm, I will use the these ones here and then replace this one and this one with slopes seven and the back one I can replace Maybe with a big one. And then I will replace the top. Uh, not the top. Oh yeah, the top. I will remove the top here. And then just... Maybe... Integrate that a bit better. Neat. Neat, neat, neat. It it kind of is is nicer to to just have a few of these on here than all these bulky, all these bulky sci-fi thrusters. These can go. These can go. 
top thrusters. Uh, maybe if I go and cut into this and use that as top thrusters. I don't know how many how many bottom thrusters I need, but um, I have some down. So for now I can remove this. Maybe I can put the Maybe, maybe I can make a, I could do this. It's maybe a bit, Either I could make the whole thing shorter now, but I don't want, want it to look too small. So not too small, just, a bit more open, a bit more, yeah, how to say, not so, so crammed with thrusters. Um, if you think that, I don't know, uh, forklifts in, 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 in storage facilities, they, they don't, they do, don't look like, I don't know, blocks of metal. They usually have this open cockpit and the, don't know, just a, just a mesh or a bit of a few, <laughs> a few things around the, around the driver. More like that instead of this heavy, Block of metal. So, ah, I'm dumb. Is this one loose now? Inventory. Yeah, it is. Um, five. I have these blocks here. Have it look transparent, kind of. Oh, this one flew away too. Ugh. I don't. That's okay. Uh, was that a side thruster? That was a side thruster. And then I have one more upwards firing uh, integrate that with maybe a slope. Ah, nice. That's better. That's better. Clear that out. Seven. Upwards. And then... It kind of fits to the... Then a bit to the... To the cargo dropship. So that they... they really look industrial and not not like fighter ships or something like that the, again the the inspiration are the kind of the the eagles from space 1999 or moon base alpha i don't know how it's called in um good this i can't cut into this Can I cut into this? I think I can cut into this. Then... Uh, maybe... This goes... Can I replace... The... Can I replace it with a big one? And how... Crazy powerful is this one then? Can go and have another kind of oopsie. Have another thing around it. Okay, how bad is it? 
it's not that bad that's good that's kind of the same as before i need to maybe see how much downwards thrust i need so upwards four now lock it down three down look and go back a bit back lock it down up look oh it's locked is it locked did i lock it down no i didn't lock it down why are you not what's it doing now what is it doing now why is it absolutely not moving Oh, okay, something. I don't know what happened there. Something locked it down, and that's bad. Um, gear. Landing gear. Unlock. Okay, they are unlocked now. Okay, more thrust. More upwards thrust. Um... What should I replace? Maybe these? With some more upwards thrust? So everything looks kind of integrated into the structure. Seven. I have this big space here. What what could I do do there? I will think about this. Uh, if I can fill this space with something that maybe is useful. Um, can I remove this and replace it with a full block? can't see it behind that thing so that makes life a bit easier and then I could put something behind this we need do we need more thrust okay some more thrust but where to put it? Where to put it? Could hide it somewhere in here. So... Next to these. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's a good idea. So, I uh, have them in here. This block here for the moment. Five. Have this here. Now replace these. Five. Can give give it this this open look. It, it, again, it's not a fighter ship, it just needs a bit of an open look. And I could do that with these blocks too. Ugh, come on. Oh, I hope you, we can't hear that all on. Didn't turn down my my volume. That's bad.
Uh, yeah, one back. Nice. Need to do something with this. I will find a solution for that. Good. And I hope that I don't know if I make it lighter because it's more materials. But I'm not sure if girders and all that stuff are just lighter than the, the steel plates. <laughs> Need to figure that out. Now? Yeah, now I can... If I give it a bit more thrust... That would go smoother, so maybe we allocate a bit more thrust from somewhere, <laughs> but from where? Uh, replace this one. I don't know, and I need to find a, a good thing to place in here. I could put... Um, could put uh, an oxygen generator in here or something like that. If I'm in here uh, cruising around with that, maybe an oxygen generator would be a good thing so that I can have some oxygen while I'm while I'm working in this. Uh, and it should that should work out. Uh, oh, two. Uh, where's the... Okay, I need to turn it. And there should be the thing. Neat. That's a bit neater. And I don't know, it still looks openish. Could put some gantries over here. Maybe I put some blocks here, so they don't look so, so, I don't know, so fragile in here. The problem is now I have this here. I could put a slope here or so. Let me find a place for thrusters and I think I will just do the same that I did over there just put them here hide them behind the strut there oh do this now we should have enough thrust to to lift this up without any issues uh, bring down eight nine View the camera. Eight. Bring it down. Nice. And let's try to overcome it. Yes, that works. A lot better. A lot neater than... Than before. Cool. Thank you. That is nice. Good, I will greeble with this a bit more um, in in the meantime, in between episodes, because I think I'm I'm running long again, just staring at this this thing and flying around it. Again, that is the idea that I have for this cargo skiff. Again, this thing will just be a thing to move containers around in orbit that I can store on this ship. Just have it sit, and if I need it, bring it out, move containers, and then bring it back in just to just for that for that thing it needs enough power to move the cargo uh, cargo around it doesn't need to be fast with it but uh, it, it shouldn't also it should not be underpowered let's say it that way good people i would say that's all for today hope you like this episode if you did please leave a like on the video and i hope to see you in the next one See ya, guys.